Good afternoon, it's Jim in beautiful Beaverton, Oregon. It's the uh, 23rd of June and it's an absolutely gorgeous afternoon. Uh, so we thought we'd film out here. I want to do a little ditty on uh, taking care of pests and bugs in your uh, aquaponics greenhouse. But first I want to show you this new shed that I just built. Uh, I had a lot of thought as to whether to build it from a kit or from scratch. I ended up building it from scratch. As far as I can tell, it costs about half as much. And I think you get a better shed out of the deal. Uh, also, you can build exactly the size you want. Uh, if you want to do some really twisted logic to like your partner or a significant other to justify buying a bunch of tools, you could buy uh, a tool pouch full of tools, a full set of 18 volt cordless tools, a chop saw, and a ladder, everything you need, and still save hundreds of dollars by building it yourself over having somebody build it for you. Just food for thought. Also, you could take those same tools and you could build a greenhouse later. Now, let's uh, Come on down. I should say everybody in Oregon knows that you need a shed. It should be wood and well ventilated. And you need a patio cover over your patio. If you got a patio and there's no cover, it's kind of no use to you. Uh, in Oregon, if you leave something out in the backyard, it will turn into a giant pile of rust and mold in very short order. So it's got to be covered. So anyhow, let's get on to the main theme today. What I want to talk about is uh, pest management. Uh, they would call it integrated pest management in the professional outfits, but uh, how do you deal with pests in the aquaponics system? Uh, to start with, uh, you need to prune and you make everything clean and you need good ventilation. But even on top of that, you're going to need some kind of insecticide. So I want to do a couple that I use quite commonly that you can use very easily. The first one you may already have on hand, and that's this Dr. Bronner's 18-in-1 Hemp Castile Soap. And uh, Castile, what that is, is a, a place in uh, Spain where they invented this stuff, that it's a soap that has a base that's plant-based as opposed to animal-based, and that's the difference. So you're putting plants on here instead of uh, animal fat. Anyhow, uh, if you take a teaspoon of this and put it in a pint of water, mix it up, you have an insecticidal soap very similar to what you would buy at the store. Then you may spray this uh, on your plants. I should say in normal circumstances, you only spray on your plants maybe just before dark when there's no sun on them and they're starting to cool off, not in hot weather like this. Um, so anyhow, the, the first one you can do is this stuff. Now we're going to use this in combination. What I want to do is uh, make a neem oil um, mix. Let me talk about, you. I'm going to just talk for a second on reading the label on, on neem oil or on anything. Let's go over what we see here. It's, uh, it says OMRI listed. Uh, OMRI stands for Organic Material Research Institute. What that is is a nonprofit organization that is certifying that this stuff is okay to put on organic crops. So I really like to have that on there because they're saying it's okay and they're the guys that know. Uh, the next thing we see, this is 100% cold pressed. Uh, neem oil is like olive oil kind of in a way. They, pre they cold press it. It looks kind of like that. So you want the first press or, so it has the right stuff in it. The, uh, the biggest uh, ingredient that works is called azadiractin. And uh, you get more of it in the cold press and you also want 100%. If you go to the store and buy this, a lot of times you'll look and it'll say 70%. So you lost 30% already. But here's the rub. This stuff, we're gonna put uh, a teaspoon of this stuff in a pint of water. 
I'm gonna spill this. I'm sure I was gonna bring a towel, but I didn't do it. That's a scant teaspoon. But if you see, it doesn't mix. Oil and water. No matter how you shake it up, it won't mix. Trust me, if you put your thumb on it, it still won't mix. So what do you do? You use a thing, and I remember the word now, called an emulsifier, which allows it to mix. And go figure, Dr. Bronner's happens to be an emulsifier. So you take half a teaspoon of that, By the way, this is the peppermint, and it, the uh, neem oil, I should say, has kind of a pungent aroma, and this really helps to cover up that aroma and give you sort of a pleasant peppermint smell. So now you shake it up, and you'll see it's gone into this gray solution. That's, that's a perfect neem oil. You'll also see my wife pointed out to me that uh, if I use labels on my bottles as opposed to writing on them with um, black ink, it wouldn't come off. So that's my new deal. I think that's pretty cool. Always mark your bottles with what you got in there because if it, not to be a goody two shoes or whatever, but if you've got three bottles or something, it's pretty hard to know sometimes. So, and, and your assistant may not know either. So mark them, we're ready to go. I'm going to uh, actually use this over here because I happen to know that I've got some uh, fungus gnats. I can see them flying up. I'm not going to use it on the plants themselves. I'm only going to spray the dirt. But this will take them right off. They like to live on right on the bottom. For whatever reason, they very rarely get up on the plant. So if you just spray down below and in the grow bed, that'll do it. There we go. You can see it's again a flood and drain bed. You got a constant flow of water coming in and every once in a while it all goes out. Just briefly. We have some tomatoes here, by the way, starting to come on. Some pretty good sized ones in the back. Uh, I don't know if there's room for us to see or not. So, so anyhow, that wasn't what this was about, but uh, just to show you. If you start spraying for bugs before you have bugs, you'll be a lot happier all the way around. So anyhow, my tip of the day in conclusion is go to the store and buy yourself a full set of measuring spoons and keep them with your uh, fungicide and, and insecticide and clean and then you don't have to get the ones out of the kitchen and you'll be a lot happier guy. I will uh, see you next time.